Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com. How to transfer any photograph onto wood with Mod Podge. At the same time, we're also going to build a self-standing log photo frame. Now, there's a couple of different methods for transferring images um, onto wood with Mod Podge. I experimented with both of them. Uh, the first one, you're going to apply uh, a generous layer of Mod Podge onto the wood or a generous coating of Mod Podge onto the wood. And then you're going to apply Mod Podge onto uh, the image side of a um, photograph that has been uh, copied or printed off of any um, inkjet or laser printer. So the end result is you're going to get the mirror image of the photograph transferred onto the wood. Also going to apply a very generous um, coating of Mod Podge onto the photo side of the image. This happens to be a laser printed image. And almost every time you're using Mod Podge, you really want to use a foam brush. This image then gets just applied to the wood face down. You can hold it up to the light if you need to see how it's uh, aligning with the wood. And then you can work out any bubbles uh, in the paper with your finger. You do have a little bit of time here before it dries that you can reposition the paper if needed. Again, work out all the bubbles. And then this gets set aside and allowed to dry completely. I actually let it dry for uh, almost 24 hours. You then go back with a, a damp cloth and you moisten the entire back of that image, that printed image. Once the paper is completely moistened, uh, you can e either use a rag or towel, or uh, I, I prefer to use my finger, um, moistened, and you can start to rub away the paper. You can see it just starts to, to lift off of the image, which is now embedded into the Mod Podge, which is adhered uh, to the wood. This takes a little bit of time. You have to be careful. Um, you can rub away too much of the image. Uh, you want to be careful over on the face uh, or any, of any detail that you want to leave in place. Um, I also like to, to peel the paper around the edge uh, so that it gives more of a rustic look rather than using a scissor. Once uh, all of the white paper is, is removed, uh, this also has to be set aside, uh, dried completely, and then you want to coat it um, to seal that image against the wood at least with two coats of Mod Podge. Um, this one comes out pretty decent. Um, it's got an artsy look to it. The second method um, is the one that I actually decided uh, to use for my project. Uh, it allows the image to show up a little bit clearer. It doesn't have that artsy feel to it. Um, you start by coating the wood with Mod Podge, uh, but this time you're going to coat the back of the image with Mod Podge. And you're going to just lay that image right onto the wood where you want it just like you'd apply any photograph uh, to any material with Mod Podge. You're going to coat the entire surface of the um, printed image, again with Mod Podge, and at this point you'll also want to work out uh, any bubbles uh, that are in that paper uh, so that it's as flat as possible. Once all the bubbles are out, you'll set this aside to dry, and once it's completely dry, you probably want to give it at least two coats. Um, I actually prefer to give these things uh, three coats, so they're very, very durable. And the difference between the two, um, the first process is shown on the right, and the second process that we did was on the left. And I actually decided to go ahead with that left process, or the non-mirror uh, image process. So the piece of wood I used is actually a piece of wood uh, that was for my fireplace, uh, destined uh, to be burned uh, during this upcoming winter. Um, I cut a 45 degree angle on it. Uh, this one happens to be dogwood. Um, and then I coated that angle with Mod Podge. In hindsight, I probably should have uh, coated the bark with polyurethane before I did the Mod Podge. Uh, but I did it afterwards. It came out fine. It just would have been easier uh, to coat the entire uh, piece of wood with polyurethane, the bark, uh, to protect that. 
before I did any of the Mod Podge. Mod Podge. Uh, then again, you coat the wood, you coat the back of the image that you want to apply, apply the image, um, work out any bubbles uh, with your fingers, apply another coating of Mod Podge uh, directly over this uh, while it's wet. Um, I actually used my fingers again to break away the paper uh, instead of using a scissor. And then uh, set it aside to dry. Uh, after you know, three, four hours, um, I gave it another second coat of the Mod Podge. Another three or four hours, I gave it a third coat of the Mod Podge. Uh, with the finished product being a self-standing uh, log uh, photo frame. Very unique uh, conversation piece looks really nice on the shelf. A very simple, easy to do project. Put that fire firewood to use. Uh, please check us out on the web at uh, DIYEasyCrafts.com. Be sure to check out our other how-to videos. And if you like this video, I ask that you please subscribe to this YouTube channel.